Hello, hello. I'm back. I probably should have done this for like the last few figures that I've had, but I've been really not in the mood to make unboxing videos because I've just been busy, etc. So I thought I'd do one today. And as pretty much everybody knows, I pre-ordered a figure from Koto Byukia, um back in last July. And uh, that figure is Jabami Yumeko from Kake Gurui, um, the compulsive gambler. It is on Netflix. Excuse me. I'm trying to get this to not be so tilted. There you go. So she's from an anime called Kake Gurui, um, the compulsive gambler. Uh, very good show. It's on Netflix. So if you have Netflix, go watch it. It is worth it. So, um, let's get started. So, Jabami Yumiko is about, uh, 120, uh, plus tax and fees. And then I paid the expedited shipping stuff, so it was an added, like, 8 bucks, so she was almost, like, 130. And for a Kotobukiya figure, it's actually not a bad of a price. Because I have Dante, and he was 200, but he's pretty large, and he has, like, parts that, uh, come off, like his hands, so the poses can be different. So, like, 130 wasn't a bad price for this figure. Now, I know there is a limited edition one where the you can change the faceplate, but I didn't know that was a thing until after I got this in my possession. So I'm, I'm a teensy bit sad. So, first off, this is what it looks like in the box. Um, this is what the box looks like. I think it's really great. I love the red and black mixed together. There's my wife right there. Looking all, you know, crazy for gambling. And then art, which is really nice. Uh, this is just the top of it, so you can kind of see the figure. And then the bottom. So I'm going to get started opening this. Again, I'm really excited. When I, uh, I, I think I first saw her in a convention. I think it was like the first release, so she was like two hundred plus dollars because conventions like to hike prices. Um, I was like, ooh, that character looks cool, and uh, I was just like, okay, I'm gonna see where this is from. And then I watched the show, and I was like, I love it. Oh, there's three. Oh, and by the way, when I got this in the mail, it came in a, uh, like a clear, like a cellophane wrap, you know, like party, like the stuff you put in party bags. It came covered in that, but I took it off because I obviously wanted to see Yumeko. Um, that, which was really cool. And when it gets, uh, mailed to you, it comes with like, well, bu like bubble, the big bubble wrap thing. So there's no way it could like get dented, and that was my main worry, was this box getting crushed in transit. So that was all reassuring. Ooh. Nice. Empty box. Okay, so this is going aside. Okay, um, here's the figure in its box wrap thing. There is tape. I'm just going to cut that tape off. Okay, that one's done. Okay. I have my handy dandy knife with me. Is there any on the top? No. No. I was pretty stoked for this figure. When I ordered her Back in July, I was going off about it to my friends, because I was just so excited. First piece of, pla piece of plastic. Uh. It was 
is removed. So it comes in a bunch of plastic, which is nice. It has that new figure smell. I don't know if anyone is into that. I normally never keep this because, like, it's just hard to wrap things and I do things wrong. Her hair is wrapped, too, and so is her arm. It's like a sticky, you know, like, cling wrap? It's kind of like that, but plasticky. Ooh, she... Wow, the base is really cool, by the way. I'm gonna get this plastic off. So I think what I'm gonna do, what the heck? I can't just like pull it off, which kind of sucks. How do I get this off? Oh wait, I found, found it? I can't find the beginning of where to pull this. Where the heck? Oh wait, found it. It was just hidden. So I think what I'm going to do with this figure, if I can clear up the room, um, because I have a very limited space in my cabinets because I just keep buying figures. Yumeko is compulsive with gambling. I am compulsive with buying figures. Perfect match. But uh, what I'm going to do... Because the base is a bunch of cards, which I'll show in just a second, I'm going to clear out a special space for her, and I'm going to get Silas on me Mary sometime when I get the money. She's 119, so I have to save up so they can go together. By the way, this is an 8th scale figure, so um, that's nice. So it's about the size of my other figures from Toho. No... Hmm, that's what's going on. There's another piece in there. Okay. Again, this is like a clingy wrap thing, so I'm like trying not to pull this poor wig teeth or hair piece off. There we go. I got her done. Okay. So they wrapped it up really nice. So this is the figure. Very, very pretty. I like how the hair is just like a wave. And uh, in the pictures, oh, by the way, um, here's the base. Um, it's really hard to see because it's actually clear. So that's the base. It's like a bunch of cards. Which is really neat, in my opinion. Because now what I'm going to do, I'm going to clear a special space in my drawer for her. So I can open up one of my, like, I can buy, like, a dollar store cheap pair of cards. And then I'm going to, like, um, spew them about underneath. Um, and then maybe grab, like, poker chips and, like, kind of strew them about her. Because, again, she is obsessed 
with gambling. So it's only fair to actually put her with some other gambling stuff. But yeah, overall, I really like this figure. I love the detail, like especially with the skirt pattern and everything, because it's like plaid uh, or plaid or it's like this weird. If you watch the show, you understand the design. Um, but I like the details, like the ring, the nails, her eyes, like everything about this figure is wonderful. It is definitely worth one hundred and thirty dollars and about seven month wait almost or six months. Excuse me. Six months wait. So yeah, that is Jabami Yumeko from Kake Gurui. Uh, I don't know, again, when I'm going to get Mary. Uh, I want to because she's my second favorite next to Yumeko. But when I do get her, I'll be sure to unbox her as well and put her next to our wonderful main star. But thank you for watching. I will see you next time. <laughs>